introduction to biochemistry you are watching this lecture on my youtube channel dr biochem lectures my name is dr alam zeb i am a professor at the department of biochemistry university of malacca i did phd from the graz university of technology graz austria first definition of biochemistry it is the branch of science which deals with the study of chemical nature of life. Biochemistry is the study of chemical processes in living organism including but not limited to living matter. Second definition, the third is Biochemistry is the study of the chemical or chemistry of living things. We can also define biochemistry as the study of structure, functions, and properties of biomolecules. These are the, the important definitions of biochemistry. So what we study in biochemistry is the important question. Uh, we study structure uh, of the biomolecules uh, and also we study the biochemical properties including chemical and physical properties of biomolecules. We study um, genetic materials and their biochemical transformations. Now the question is why biochemistry? Why you select biochemistry? If you want to understand how life is possible, how carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, phosphate, and a few metals combine to create complex organism like ourselves biochemistry is the answer now we will talk a little bit about the history of biochemistry so the knowledge as we know the knowledge of biochemistry begins in the 16th century uh, there are several uh, arguments on this. Some argue that the beginning of the biochemistry may have been uh, started with the discovery of the first enzyme now known as amylase. Some believe that Edward Buckner work on alcohol fermentation is the birth of the biochemistry. Uh, however, the name biochemistry was coined in 1903 by a German chemist named Karl Neuber. However, and also the significant contribution in the biochemistry was in the 19th and 20th century occur. In 1828, Frederick Wohler published a paper on the synthesis of urea which proves that organic compounds can be created artificially without uh, cells. Significant advancement occurred with the advent of biochemical techniques. The elucidation of structure of DNA and genes in the 1950s are considered as a major historic event. Uh, major metabolic pathways were discovered at the end of 20th centuries and that uh, we have now the uh, full knowledge of the biochemical um, sciences or biochemistry. Now scope and implication of biochemistry. Biochemistry has multiple implications in all the fields related to all biological sciences. Uh, this subject is taught as a fundamental subject in the majority of the uh, biological science subject. Now we will discuss uh, some of them. For example, we will discuss biochemistry is a chemical science. Biochemistry is based on the fundamental knowledge of chemistry the structure and chemical properties of biomolecules need knowledge of uh, chemistry 
so we study physical chemistry, organic chemistry, inorganic and analytical chemistry in the curriculum of biochemistry. And so when you have uh, the knowledge of biochemistry, you can work as a uh, chemist too. Uh, the second scope is biochemistry is a biological science. Uh, biochemistry is the application of chemistry to the study of biological processes at the cellular and molecular levels. Uh, knowledge of biochemistry is essential to all life sciences. Uh, so you, uh, when you have the knowledge of uh, biochemistry, uh, you can carry this knowledge in the field of biological sciences or biology. Uh, third, biochemistry is a medical science. Biochemistry is taught is a subject in medical science. Uh, and some of the medical science subjects are based on, for example, physiology. In this case, biochemistry help uh, to understand the biochemical changes in related physiological alteration in the body. Similarly, in the pathology, which is based upon the symptom described by the patient physician, uh, which get clue on the biochemical changes in associated disorder. For example, if a patient complain about the stiffness in small joints, then physician may predict it to be gout and get confirmed by evaluating uric acid level in the blood. Is uric acid accumulation in the blood result in gout? So this knowledge of biochemistry is essential for the um, um, medical science and you will have a very bright future. You can open a medical laboratory and so the medical laboratory knowledge is uh, present. Biochemistry is a agriculture science. Uh, in agriculture and plant sciences, uh, biochemistry also provides fundamental knowledge of all physiological processes required for growth, reproduction, and functions. Uh, knowledge of biochemistry tests help prevent contamination. Uh, biochemical tests or the pesticide residues or other toxic waste in plants, food, grain, and soil can be evaluated. Knowledge is required for the prevention of disease and enhancing yield or growth, growth of the plant or uh, plant products or agriculture products. Fifth application and scope is biochemistry is a food science. Biochemistry is the food biochemistry and food chemistry. These are the two major subjects uh, in food science um, curriculum uh, throughout the world. The knowledge of biochemistry is essential for phytochemical nutrients and their effects on uh, human body or the animal body. So you can see my book uh, food frying, chemistry, biochemistry, and safety, uh, which was published uh, by the John Williams UK in 2019. Uh, so we need the understanding and uh, nutrition, uh, which depends on the great extent on the knowledge of biochemistry. So uh, if you are a biochemist, you will have a future in food science too.